The Equalizer 2 is a film starring Denzel Washington and is directed by Anton Fuqua, who also directed the first film, uh, which came out in 2014, and the sequel is coming out in the year 2018. came out last week, in fact, and I finally got around to watching it. Um, the first film I'm first going to explain. I, I thought the first film was enjoyable for what it was. I think the style for that film is gorgeous. I think that is easily the standout for that film, as well as Robert Zemeckis. Uh, rendition of the song Vengeance. Holy cow, that song is... Look it up if you get a chance. Um, so this film, honestly, I, going into it, I wasn't sure um, if I was going to like it or not. Just because so often a film that was solid, such as the first Equalizer, um, to even get a sequel is kind of like, is it necessary? Kind of like the first Taken. Um, and the premise also didn't help any. Um, the premise is about you know Denzel Washington's character and how basically his friend she dies and he basically then has to find the people that you know did this job. And for me, that just it's just a flawed premise, man. Because in the first film, you really didn't know this friend. In this film, you know a little bit about her, like a little bit more, but it just kind of feels just a reason to get to revenge. And that's not to say this is a bad film by any means. It's not. It's just an okay film. It's pretty average, actually. Um, Denzel Washington though, does his best. It's actually really cool to see Denzel Washington um, in an action role again because the dude is 60-something and he's still doing action films. And he doesn't look in his 60s and he's still able to pull it off with ease. It's great to see that. Um, I also thought that uh, Harry Grayson Williams' uh, score for the film was solid. Not great, like the first film, but it was solid. It did its job when needed. Uh, the sound design for this film was also solid. Um, the acting all around was pretty solid. I mean, there wasn't any standout performances, again, other than Denzel Washington. This is his film. It was cool to see Oberyn in the film from, you know, Game of Thrones. Um, but... Again, everything just kind of screams average, honestly. Uh, when you look at everything from a technical standpoint, and even an entertainment standpoint, it's it's just diverting. It, it gets the job done enough to where it's like, okay, that was okay. But uh, but not enough where it's like, okay, that was a good sequel. And it's a shame, too, because, again, I, I feel as though you can also have a, a, a solid first film and then build on that. I mean, look at the Terminator films or the Raid films. You know, where you had the first one, it was, it was solid, or maybe even good, and then the second one was like, holy cow, that was like mind-blowing. Um, the Equalizer 2, I think the main problem is just its lack of consequences. And just also, I was thinking about it while watching, I was like, you know, he's like invincible. You know, in the first film, you had, there was like situations where you actually weren't sure if he was going to make it out alive. Um, but you didn't really get that feeling too much in this this sequel, which kind of, I feel like, deflated some of the action scenes. Um, and this being an action film, it's kind of like, it's a shame. I also think the film is a bit too long, and it does drag in many scenes, especially towards the end. Um, and also, just the style and, and soundtrack are not up to snuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, neither are bad, they're passable, but the first film excel at both. Like I said, the song um, Vengeance by Robert, I think I'm saying his last name right, Zemeckis, it, it's just great. It's, it, it was a really great song and it was perfectly utilized in the first film. There's no real you know, track like that that's really memorable. And also the style, it's just, it's not as stylistic. It really isn't. It feels a bit flat on us, which is weird for an Anton Fuqua film. Um, but again, this film, guys, overall, in the end, it is a passable film. It's not bad by any means, but it's also not a good or even solid action film. Uh, it's just okay. And if you liked the first film, you will probably enjoy this film. I don't know about the same much, but to each and its own. Um, but again, The Equalizer 2 gets a 3 out of 5 star rating. Um, Guys, I want to hear your thoughts, though. Uh, how did you guys like The Equalizer 2? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.